Welcome to day four of Hollow Week. In previous videos, I showed you how to make shrunken heads out of apples, a magic spell book, and bleeding candles. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make some easy horns. These are obviously just a single component for a costume. It could be part of many different costumes, a demon, the devil, a goat, any horned animal really. For me, I wanted to make them because my older sister recently got me hooked on the graphic novel saga and one of the races, they have horns. And I don't know, I just wanted to make some. They're pretty easy to make, so let's get started. You'll need some elastic or a headband, hot glue, tape, two long thin pieces of cardboard, a dowel or a cylindrical object that you don't mind getting cut a little, scissors, and paint. Cut two long strips of cardboard. These ones are two inches by 10 inches. The width of the cardboard will determine how extreme the curl of your horns will be. Take your dowel or your cylindrical object. I'm using a marker. Roll up the cardboard around it like so. At this outer edge, start cutting through each layer of cardboard very carefully. And now you'll have a few pieces of cardboard like this. The amount that you have will change depending on how thick your dowel is or how long your cardboard is. Anyway, tape the ends of each piece to make little tubes. Roll the smallest piece into a cone shape. Start sticking the tubes into each other, making them come out at a bit of an angle like so. And then use some hot glue to keep it together. Then, using hot glue again, make lines spiraling down the horns to add some detail. Alternatively, you could use some air drying clay instead. I just wanted to keep these as light as possible and really, really quick, so hot glue was perfect. I made an alternate pair of horns with strips of cardboard that were 1 inch by 10 inches, and instead of cutting the cardboard while on the marker, I slid them off and readjusted them so that the edge of the cardboard on the inside matched the edge on the outside. And then I cut. I taped the tubes together, but on the smallest bit, I cut an angle at one edge to help when I rolled it into a cone. Here you can see how much more these curve. They're also way, way shorter since the individual tubes were only one inch wide, and I kept up with the 10 inch long piece of cardboard. Like before, hot glue them and add details. Now paint. I did a dark brown base and then dry brushed some gold and reddish browns over top. This made the details pop. Once they're dry, you can attach them to the elastic or the headband. For these ones going on the headband, cut two circles out of the cardboard scraps that are as big as the base of the horns. Glue the horns onto the headband by sandwiching the horn and the circle around the headband. It was a little bit wobbly at first, which was concerning to me, but once the glue cooled and hardened, they became much more sturdy. If you want to use elastic, cut some that is long enough to go around your head with a few inches extra. Cut two holes on either side of the base of these horns, big enough for the elastic to thread through. Thread one of the horns through, and when it's in place, tie a knot on either side to secure it. Slide the other on, and then repeat. Keep in mind that the elastic is going to stretch when you put it on, and that will affect the placement. Before I secured the second horn, I wrapped the elastic around my head like I would when wearing, and then I adjusted the placement, took them off, and then tied the knots to keep that second horn in place. Put the elastic on your head, tighten it to a comfortable but secure tightness, take it off and tie it together, and then you're done. Just put them on and style your hair a little bit to hide the headband or elastic. Since these are made of hollow cardboard, they're super light and really comfortable to wear. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, 
please leave a like. If you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. Every day this week, I've been posting Halloween-themed videos, but normally I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. Thank you, patrons, for helping me produce this series. If you're interested in becoming a patron or you just want to learn what Patreon is, I'll leave a link to mine right here. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, or Snapchat, and I'll leave the information to those down below. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos or for next year's Halloween, then leave a comment down below. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow for the last day of Halloween.